What's the worst part of depression? How insanely hard it is to get help. You have to advocate for yourself a lot and you just can't even. If your doctor is dismissive of your concerns, you have to make her listen. If your therapist isn't a good fit you have to try to find another one at a time when picking up the phone to order pizza is even too much. Don't have insurance and can't afford a therapist. Maybe you can get a job with better insurance with all that energy that you don't have. It's like your leg is broken and you have to climb a mountain to get to the hospital to get it fixed. The guilt. Guilt over not getting things done. Guilt. Because I feel like I'm letting others down. Guilt for not being fully present for the people I love. Knowing that you're in a depression and being physically and mentally unable to do anything about it. The forgetfulness and lethargy. I'm so done with it but, here am I am. Lack of motivation to do things like wash and brush your teeth, which just makes you more depressed. A vicious cycle if you will. When being suicidal stops being scary and starts being just another part of life. I should eat something. I want to die. I need to take a shower. I should go for a walk. I wonder whether I could jump in front of a car. I need to do the dishes. That new show looks fun. I should stab myself with a kitchen knife. At some point. It gets hard to remember a life without depression is even possible. The complete loss of who you are. You remember having a personality, hobbies, pretty much any desire to do anything. And then it's just gone. You don't want to talk to anyone. You don't even want to get up and use the bathroom. You could lay in bed for hours and not even notice, because your brain has just completely and totally shut down on you. It is isolating and exhausting to experience, and all the while you're blaming yourself for being so useless and pathetic. You literally just lose yourself. Edit it to add. Since this comment has blown up, I feel compelled to add. Depression doesn't manifest the same for everyone. If you feel like you need help, there are resources available. It is possible to improve and find yourself. You can also always message me and I will respond. It can be self-sustaining. You feel depressed so you withdraw. Withdrawing makes you feel depressed, can get stuck in a never-ending cycle. Not being interested in anything. Nothing grabs your attention. Everything is boring, but you know it would probably be good for you to do it. But it's just too big a mountain to climb. Being interested. The awareness of how much you're not doing. I know I'm neglecting the dishes and laundry and work, but that knowledge doesn't help me summon the motivation to actually fix it and start doing normal stuff again. In fact, it often sets off a spiral of self-criticism which feels even worse. Thankfully I've only gone through one episode and am on medicine that's been an enormous help along with therapy. Please please seek help if you can. I know it can be daunting but it really does make a huge difference. Hugs to everyone dealing with depression and mental illness in general. Missing out on all the spontaneous moments to connect with the people that love you. People annoying you by reminding you how many reasons you have not to be depressed, as if it was your damn choice. The despair that sets in when you sense that you may never find your way out of it. The feeling nothing feeling, being unable to focus, to be distracted, to be moved, nothing can reach you anymore it's like being in a locked empty room the detachment aspect of depression is probably the worst for me i lose my ability to speak to people closest to me and i have a hard time opening up again or reaching out when i go through stages of depression especially when i've unintentionally hurt someone close to me due to it i'm a very sympathetic and emotional person but when i go through waves of depression i lose that ability and it sucks Another thing which I guess goes hand in hand with detaching is the lack of self-care that I do for myself and feel guilty when I try. It's a miserable game if that's what you want to call it and some people see it as you being selfish, but neglecting everything and not being able to do anything about it due to depression is not a selfish act. It can be a cry for help. Feeling like everything you do is 10 times as hard and mentally draining. Even having a shower feels like a huge chore. Being fully aware of the fact that you need help, but you still can't bring yourself to admit it, and also knowing that you may permanently feel this way and there's no way out of it. Everybody just says man up and be strong, like if it was that easy. Honestly, that feeling where you're not suicidal, but you also don't want to exist, so you often just spend time thoughtlessly and blankly staring at the wall. 
the lack of energy to get things done despite wanting to, having to explain your feelings to your family, for them only to tell you you're faking it to get out of school, then getting asked why you never said anything the day after you tried to off yourself. When it affects people close to you, they become sad and may even be depressed because of my poor well-being, and their downness made my depression worse. It was a brutal cycle. The self-hatred for being so useless while also not being able to do anything about it. The sudden crash after a little upswing. The flattening. Daily ennui. It's all bad. Equally. I hated how time froze. Four years after high school felt like two days apart. People are doing things with their leaves and you're just laying there. Watching from Facebook and you can't relate to anything people are doing now. Looking at pictures from when you were once beautiful and confident in your looks. Then looking in the broken mirror and seeing someone who hasn't bathed in two weeks. Has matted hair. Can't even smell the horrible stench of the house. Because you're so accustomed to it. On top of that. Social anxiety so when someone does try to reach out to you. You log off for a week and hope they didn't think you were rude by not responding. There's no more dopamine left from the things you used to enjoy so you just put it aside. Might do it one day. One day. Another day. And you still might do it. But it's been a few months since you said that. Wait hold on. No. That was 2016 since you said that. And your old friend's kids can talk now. Huh. They were just pregnant. I'm not depressed like that anymore. But there were some really bad things that happened and I live with regret with every waking moment of my life. People are quick to console someone without knowing the details, but believe me when I say that I do not deserve sympathy. As a 40 yo, someone who has dealt with it since childhood and learned to cope, the hardest for me is seeing others suffer, seeing the hopelessness in those who have yet to find their coping mechanism. That and watching the roller coaster ride of those seeking the proper medication the physical and mental toll it often takes. Also, as a child, I found the dismissiveness from those who haven't experienced it themselves very difficult to understand. It led me to invest all of my energy into appearing happy around others, to the point of utter exhaustion. I would often have to hide away for weeks at a time, as best I could, which wasn't terribly helpful either. There was a silver lining to the play acting though. I was able to avoid the medical roller coaster that I saw others riding, simply, because my parents seemed utterly unaware of my distress. Being super irritable and harsh to the ones who love and depend on you. The self-isolation. I like being alone way too much it's unhealthy. Also the mood swings can be brutal. It never goes away. It may subside, but it still lurks. What I also hate about it for me it is year round. Everyone says how much they love summer, but summer is hard for me too. I just want to isolate. When nothing seems to help, talking with people, exercise, making your favorite meal, resting, listening to uplifting music, watching a movie or show, or even engaging in your favorite hobby fail to get you out of it. When it gets to that hopeless feeling, the fact that it bulls on itself, thinking negative thoughts will lead to being more depressed which leads to more negative thoughts, which leads to feeling more depressed, etc. It's that vicious cycle that makes it so hard to escape. At least, that's how I personally experienced it. When you slowly get out of it and then get crushed under the realization how awful you've been to your loved ones. Looking at the mirror and seeing your empty self and wondering just how it got to this abysmal point. The ever-changing sleep schedule. It's so hard to keep track of that you constantly forget what day it is and what time it is, making you feel isolated. No schedule means a decline in cleanliness and order. You basically just fall apart and try to stay alive. Self-pity. Just straight up disgust directed toward yourself, but continuing the cycle anyway. The fact that people don't believe you, because it's all in your head. You know the advice they give you. Don't think about it. Go for long walks exercise if you don't think about it you won't be depressed there is something wrong with my brain and it needs to be treated with medical intervention you see a guy with a broken leg you don't immediately walk up to him and say get up walk it off if you don't think about your leg it won't be broken anymore no you get him help and months of follow-up people thinking you're lazy moody and unfriendly when you're dying inside 
It becomes so debilitating that you withdraw, can't function normally or support yourself. Feeling completely empty, feeling defeated, watching days go in and go out, not having the desire to do anything, not even the things you normally enjoy, the day-to-day -day fight, the list goes on. People pull away from you and you are often left with no one. I get why people do this and they are perfectly within their rights to do so. However nothing makes you feel worse than turning around and realizing you have no support network when you need it most. Feeling good one minute, finding yourself crying and feeling despaired the next. Only, because something or someone triggered you, like just today, was feeling down, because it's another beautiful sunny Sunday and stuck alone. Decided to go for a drive, put on loud music and raced a couple of strangers on the road and that made me feel better. Then something which I don't even know triggered me and found myself holding back the tears and traffic. It breaks you down. You don't have the energy to go to work and meet with people or to study. You can't focus. You don't enjoy the simple things in life which used to give you pleasure. I like a leech attached to you 24-7 which you are trying to hide from the world. And it's freaking draining. That it's not wrong. Most of the things that make people depressed are completely valid and logical.